Hey, fishing fanatics, Den Herring here. It's January 10th today. I'm in the boathouse. We're getting, oh, finally getting a warm up here. We had sub zero temperatures a few nights there, and uh, the highs were in the teens and single digits for a few days. But today it finally got above freezing, and tomorrow is Thursday, and it's supposed to be 48 degrees, I think is the high they're calling. So I'm planning on doing some trout fishing tomorrow in the Little Lehigh, which is close to my home here in Pennsylvania. And I thought I'd just quickly show you the lures that I intend to use tomorrow and just uh, how I'm preparing for the trip. So first of all, we're going to the Little Lehigh, and that is a limestone stream. And the reason why that's important is because limestone streams generally stay warmer through the winter and they stay colder in the summer. And it's because of how the water percolates through the ground. So that's important because some of the streams and rivers in the area, the freestone ones, are actually frozen over. The Little Lehigh won't be frozen over because that water will be warmer because it's a limestone stream. So that will be an advantage for us for fishing tomorrow. Those trout won't be quite as cold as they would be as if they were in a freestone stream. So let's take a quick look at some of the lures, some of the baits I'll be throwing tomorrow and what I'll be throwing them on. Okay, so here's a selection of lures that I'll have in my tackle box. The first ones that uh, I'm showing here are my favorite trout lure of all time. This is the Dynamic Lures HD Trout, and it's a really great bait. It's perfectly sized. It's only a few inches long, and it's perfectly sized for trout uh, in the streams that I'll be fishing. This one is called Ghost Perch. And that's my favorite color for clear water. So if the water's real clear tomorrow, I really don't know what to expect. I haven't been there in months. But if the water's clear tomorrow, then we'll be throwing this lure for sure. If it's a bit stained, then I like this color. It's a rainbow trout color. There's a lot of rainbow trout in that creek. If it, if it would be very stained, I might go to something like this. Uh, almost like a golden uh, Palomino type of color there. Also... I might throw a larger lure too, especially this time of year, the trout that have survived in the creek, some of them are larger now and they may want a larger meal. So I may be throwing something a little bit bigger. This is another dynamic lures lure. It's basically the same as the HD trout, but larger. Then here we have another great lure for the creeks here. It's the Rapala Countdown Minnow. This is a real small one, probably a 1.5 inch. Uh, that's a brook trout pattern. I got a rainbow trout pattern, a brown trout pattern, somewhat like a palomino pattern here. I got a minnow pattern in there, and then I got some larger ones. This one's a different Rapala lure here. It's called a UL minnow, and it has a little bit of a different action. It's more of a slashing action, but sometimes the trout prefer that. And then here on the left, I have a, a Daiwa bait. This is a, a, a minnow lure that Daiwa had made some time ago, and my it's a it's a specially hand painted one that my dad painted. So it's got a nice uh, look to it. And uh, finally, this is a finesse fish. I may throw this on a small, tiny jig, or maybe even a gulp minnow, or maybe the easy shiner that Kitek makes, the smallest one that they make. I may throw that a little bit too. So the rod and reel that I intend to use tomorrow, this is an ultralight rod. It's only five and a half feet long. You can see I have a rainbow trout uh, countdown minnow on there right now. It's five and a half foot long. It's a real old lose spinning rod but I really like it for this kind of application and I have the smallest Shimano Symmetry reel on here so it's an ultralight setup I like this for trout because when I'm fishing on creeks that have a lot of bushes and and trees and that kind of stuff on the bank uh, a shorter rod is very beneficial to me so I can use a pitch cast it's not a creek that I need to make extremely long casts with so therefore the five and a half foot rod makes a great rod for the creek and I will take a second rod with me just in case. This is a longer six and a half foot rod. So I will have this rod also. It's an old uh, bionic blade from Bass Pro Shops. Bionic blade spinning rod with a Sedona Shimano reel. Okay, folks, we're right on schedule this morning. We're going out in the great outdoors, doing a little bit of trout fishing first. I'm gonna stop at Dunkin' Donuts and get my favorite turkey sausage, egg and cheese on a croissant and I'll be geared up and ready to go.
So far what we've noticed folks is that the water is extremely low and therefore it's very very clear so we're trying a couple of different lures we did not get a bite in this section of the, of the stream so we're going to go to another section that is a series of five or six wing dams so we're going to wing it at the wing dams and see if we can get anything there the other thing obviously is the water is very cold but i really think the water being very low is what is the biggest challenge for me right now these wing dams have good flow and some deeper water we'll see what we can do there <laughs> This is what you can catch if you stick with it out here. Beautiful rainbow trout. Great fish. I need the pliers. There he is, thick, folks. I'm going to put him back. Beautiful fish. Put him back. He got me soaked. All right. That was worth the trip right there, folks. We're out here. Came to the wing dams. Beautiful way to spend a, a warmer winter day. January 11th. Nobody here fishing. A couple of people taking walks and stuff, but there's nobody fishing. It's got a bad knot in my line from that fish. I'll show you the lure I'm using here. I started with that HD trout I mentioned yesterday, but it wasn't doing the job, so I switched to this. Papilla UL Minnow. It's a little more of a subtler action. It works well when you rip it, but it also has a much subtler roll when you're reeling it in. And I thought it was important to have that subtler roll because the water's so low and so cold. The fish, the forage in here wouldn't be acting, wouldn't have a wide wiggle to it. So this was the better lure to use in this situation. 